Good morning everyone, welcome to another vlog here on the World of Coasters. Today you join me and Louise from our local park, Chesterton Wild of Adventures, for our first visit of the like open 2023 season. Yeah. Now this is like half an hour down the road from us and it's the middle of April and we We just we, haven't had a chance to we've literally, we've done we, other parks, haven't we? Yeah, we've got a lot planned, especially in May, haven't we? Yeah. A lot planned. Uh, but that'll be revealed all very soon. Uh, we're here to have a look around the park, just see what's changed, but more importantly, to have a look at World of Jumanji, because this will probably be the last vlog I do before opening day. Now, I'm trying to get the opening day off work. You're going to be at work, though. I'm going to be working. That's a shame. I've just accepted it, yeah. But I, I want to get here so um, I can just like film like a walk around tour and all that, but it looks amazing from what we can see. Obviously, we'll see more when we get in the park, uh, but we got the World of Jumanji. Um, statue jaguar statue over there looking amazing a lot has changed since we last been here because we couldn't get down here uh, during these zootastic weekends and we've got the b m track it has been testing i don't know whether they've tested it anymore um, since but there's the entrance plaza we've got the ostrich stampede right down there and yeah hopefully we can get some better shots but yeah guys join us as we head around our local park just into world of adventures see what's new and get back on some rides yeah. i'm excited parking's a bit of a sham though but we'll talk about that in a minute yeah. Right, so just off the back, coming into the park, Dragon Fury. That's a little repaint, looking really good. I like the nice red on the supports. But most importantly, and I'm just nerding out here, taking all the fences down for the world of Jumanji, so we can get some really good shots. I might have to go over with the camera. Do you reckon they tell me off I go on the grass? Yeah, because they're growing little trees. Yeah, I mean, once this all grows up, it'll look absolutely amazing. But we, this is the first time we've been able to get nice and close to the ride. Sign. Yeah, the signs all up. I can't wait to get into this area when it opens because this is like Merlin at their best. Uh, but yeah, let's just get some shots of you guys. So we've got the World of Jumanji uh, Mandrill Mayhem roller coaster obviously going over our heads here. It'd be nice to see if it's tested later. Ostrich Stampede just down here. I can't really see the sun shining in my eyes. Uh, and then as Louise just said, We've got um, the big entrance port here. It's nice to see they've got speakers dotted around, so it's going to be nice and loud. Um, we've also got some covering for this, so it is a metal frame, but uh, yeah, it's got this beaming to go around it, so it's looking really good. Like, have a look at that. Right, so it's really great to see this land coming together now. In a month's time, we should be out here riding this ride as of yet you know if any chestnut executives or pr people are watching haven't had an invite to any events but you know for beer on open I've day i've got a couple of pointers here you go and stuff like See, that. See, I, I think they will. I think it's just the fact they haven't put all the feeding on, so all this will go onto the metal bars. But yeah, like, look, flame effect. I know. <laughs> they like a flame effect at Merlin Parks. But yeah, it's nice to see, like, all these plants here, they haven't actually put in the ground yet. It will take a few seasons for this to grow up, but hopefully in five years or so, all of this fence will be absolutely engulfed in, in foliage and it will look, like, natural. But, oh, my God. Very impressed. I honestly, this is the first time we've seen it up close in the 2023 season. Yeah, the trees, yeah they get to plant them, aren't they? They've just laid them out. Yeah, absolutely amazed by this area. We will be here. The only reason I wouldn't be here is if I've got to go to work and then I'll be here as soon as. Yeah, facing that the other way. Dragon's Fury has had um, the supports have painted, the track hasn't been painted, and the track isn't in too bad shape, to be honest. Um, I, I did hear that they were going to put an IP on this, the Zog Dragon. Um, but yeah, that was, well, they said it was going to be for this season, but I don't know, maybe next. Also, it looks like they painted up a few of the bits around here. I love Chesterton when they do work on it, yeah, it just seems a bit fresher. Like they yeah, they, they painted the whole of the play, the play area. I, I can't stop saying I want to see this testing today. We've got Mamba Strike here, which is the SBF Visa uh, Mini Miami. You see, with the Femi at the back, the, the uh, Mamba. Uh, I did see some pictures of this on social media and I was a bit concerned, but it actually looks really good now that it's all in. Um, and then, yeah, we got the Mandrill Mayhem roller coaster. Which, oh my God, the first inverted roller coaster at Chessington. And one thing that I never thought I'd say a BM coaster at Chessington. Like, who would have thought a BM coaster would be in Chessington World of Adventure? But I'm great to see the park investing in. I think this place is going to go down a treat. Just looking at some of the theming on the area. It looks incredible. 
Um, yeah, we've also got some new booths along here, so this is for Shipwreck Coast. Kind of moved it out. This has always been a quiet part of us. Yes. About it. Yeah, like they've got this closed off so we can't really go around, but I might be able to get a shot of the trains if I'm lucky. Uh, might be able to get one. So you can actually just about see them in the station. I don't know whether the camera zoom is going to be man enough for it. Here we go, we got digital zoom now. And there we go. The trains in the station went to go, or the train rather, is a shuttle place after all. But yeah, I'm just amazed how close we can get to it. We would have thought there'd be some walls up still, but it's just the perimeter fence. I suppose they want to build high park. So Shipwreck Coast was the addition for last season. And like, I mean, Chesterton have done an absolute brilliant job with their park refurbishments over the last few seasons. This area is a prime example. It's like, you just had the, the Black Buccaneer, which was replaced by the, um, what's this one called? I'm thinking of the Blue Barnacle, that's it. Um, and then they kind of rethemed this whole area. And this area is a bit of a dead area. It's a sea storm and um, the bobbing barrels is uh, now in this area. Well, sea storm was always here. So it's great to see the park seems to be kicking off the season very strong. Like it's nice to see like parade floats going around because that is something that a few years ago you'd never see in a Merlin Park. But one thing that we now see in this Merlin Park, which Chessington are a couple of seasons late to, they've now got Coke Freestyle mugs, of which we had a voucher left. Yeah, so we've redeemed the um, the freestyle mug. You can get them from the uh, shop behind Donut Express. Um, I'm not entirely sure the price of them if you buy them. I think they're about 15 quid for one. Uh, but when you're an annual pass holder, you get all the platinum pass holder, you get a couple of vouchers every season. So now we've got one for this park. But Louise was just pointing out that they've actually done a lot of work along here. So this wheel has been broken for I don't know how many seasons, and they've repaired it, stuck some dye in the water, repainted all of the pizza and pasta. I think all they can do now, Lou, is make that pizza hut again. Yeah. Yeah, we're heading over towards uh, the Lost Kingdom, Forbidden Kingdom. Um, towards uh, Toon Blaster and Cock Shop. So when we arrived earlier, we did say about the parking, didn't we, though? And uh, it might be a bit quieter today because the car park is so boggy, uh, with it being a grass car park, they can, they can only park people on the, on the roads, um, which might hinder the amount of people that can get into the park today. We will have a look at Scorpion Express. But yeah, it was a bit of a shamble, the parking, so that'll be interesting. Uh, seeing as we're open till six, yeah. Tacateria replaces the tortilla, which will be much missed by us. We oh, love the tortilla it. here. It's a shame it's gone. It's always got to be their own though. Well, I mean, it's, it's all and about the money. Good for food at the moment. It's really I bad. mean, yeah, Aramark have taken over and it's like a bit dire. Uh, we're going to have a look around by Scorpion Express, which is closed at the moment. Uh, this was because of a fire they had on it uh, last season. I feel uh, like we were here then. No, we, 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 saw it, we saw it on social yeah. media. Um, but yeah, as far as I'm aware, the train is still with Mack Rides. And I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to upgrade it to the bigger train. You sort of be like flying fish, uh, where you get your individual seats, which would be much nicer. We've got some signage down here. Scorpion Express is currently undergoing essential maintenance and is unavailable. You can sit, was it up there? No, I think that it was the locomotive that caught fire. Um, so, yeah, it, yeah, no, it wasn't the fire yeah. effect. Yeah, it's good to see the riders had a bit of uh, TLC. Where was the squirrel? I'm missing that. The squirrel's on the, gonna go on the track. Oh god, it's a suicide squirrel. No. Needs to be behind the yellow line. <laughs> but yeah, like it's it's not no what there's not, not been any chat about when this is reopening. So I don't know. Yeah, new signage all over the place. I like they brought the bunting back because that disappeared very quickly uh, from a couple of seasons ago. It just looks like the whole park's been repainted. It's just, I think this is like the first time in a long time we've come into Chesterton Park and it's been like fresh. Oh yeah, like even, like look, Rattlesnake's had a full repaint, all the buildings have been repainted. It doesn't look like they've just done one area, it's yeah. everything. Even to the point of around here, you used to have this old like wooden fence and they've actually painted a landscape, yeah, they've painted a landscape on it though. Like, I don't know, it was a bit dire, but it's nice to see they've, yeah. 
they painted it in. Right, so as you go into the Forbidden Kingdom, you have a bit of a theme clash here. <laughs> the freestyle machine in this area is all Western themed for Mexicana. It's almost like they planned for it to be in this area, but it's a bit sad that this is all themed up for Mexicana and it's in the Lost Kingdom. It's like, I mean, it's just the print off stuff, so it's quite easy to replace, but I don't know, that doesn't fly with me. What about you, though? It's a storage for the shop. So we've got Croc Drop here, the new edition for 2020. Was it 2021? I don't think it got delayed, didn't it? I can't remember. But yeah, look, don't, I don't think it's overly busy here. It is the last Sunday of the half term, so uh, it is going to be busier than a normal weekday. But with this being our local park, we don't mind having a mooch around and just chilling. So first up, it's going to be a favourite of ours. Uh, we're going to be going on Tomb Blaster, which now we've been on Curse at Alton Manor. I'd like to think that they would give this the same treatment now. You know, like, every time we come here, I say, look, behind the original sign, you can still make out the old logo uh, for Terra Tomb or the Forbidden Tomb. So at that end, you can just about make out the B. And if you come round onto this side, they've stuck a mummy up to block, block it. But the F is just behind there. So I'd like them to do the same thing with this, get rid of the blasters and turn it into a great dark ride again. So this ride actually saw a bit of a refurbishment a couple of seasons ago um, for 2020 when they... New soundtrack. New soundtrack by Nick Hutchinson. It had new effects. It was really good. Huxton. But by... by oh, is it Huxton? I do apologise. Huxton. Sorry. No, Huxton. I don't know. <laughs> Huxton. There we go, what she said. <laughs> but yeah, there's absolutely no cue for this one. But yeah, like... Curse of Alt Manor is an example of what Merlin can do with their classic dark rides. And like, if there is one that has laser blasters, you could keep them on here. Yeah, I enjoy this. But it, they need to like give it the full treatment, give it a new story. I'd love to see it go back to how it was before. Uh, with like the, t the tomb tours of Abdab. Yeah, absolutely no cue for this one. I wonder how long we'll be waiting to get on to the, I think they said Terra Tomb, Tomb Blaster. There are some new theming bits in here. Look, we've got a new, that's new in the uh, suitcase. You can see they are adding stuff. But yeah, this ride has so much potential. <laughs> Well, I do like a ride on Tomb Blaster, but sadly, after going on Curse of Autumn Manor, I just want them to do the same thing now. I got like the worst score ever on there. They've changed a lot of the targets, points uh, around, because there was one, there's a tiger. Wow. Never see him in this part. <laughs> they changed the point system on a lot of the targets, because there was a set of targets in the room where you meet the mummy, uh, and I used to like absolutely dominate in there, didn't I? There was like thousands of hit. Um, so you just sit there like plastering the same three targets at uh, once, so you get three thousand. Yeah, yeah, you get a lot. And now they do a hundred per hit. It's like no, my my hack He's is still gone. got high score of the train. Or I mean, whatever. not high score of the day or season. High score of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Where did my ear? Aww. High score of the day was um, one six two, and I got eighty five thousand. But you know, we'll have to go on it again later. Uh, crowd levels is picking up a bit, but uh, you know it's, it's bearable today. We do have another new feature of the park this season. They finished making the maintenance shed for Dragon's Fury. Uh, this will help the longevity of the ride because the cars used to just sit out in the open. That's got tarpaulins over them. Uh, it would be nice if they were to theme it in, even if they were just to paint it a bit like this. I can't see them putting rock work on this. Um, it all depends, really. But yeah, we can kind of see now. Look, you can literally get right up close to their now spinning cars. Uh, probably won't get on Dragon Fury today, it is sporting quite a long queue. Uh, you can see they've got the extension over, but again, Lou, I really want to beam it up a little bit. Like, it's just a, a metal chip. I would like to think they would, but it's going to be a few seasons in the making, but Christ, it's got a long queue. Anyway, we're going to go into Wild Age with the Used Freestyle Machine. Hopefully, they've got banter in that one. Um, and then we're going to head around to Sign of Up. Wild area of the park. That's seen a lot of TLC over the past few seasons in the form of repainting. Jungle Bus is now back up and operational, which I find weird because now they've got uh, Mamba Strike opening, 
it's a very similar ride, they kind of sit the other way, so I suppose they can class it as two rides, but it's basically the same. The shop is open, it's shop by, by like... It's not always open. It's normally a bit disappointing, this shop, isn't oh, it? Yes, and the freestyle machine is just over there, so I think we'll go over there in a minute. Yeah, just a general repaints around, we've got some of these Tristanton flagpole up things up here, um, which is good to see, I actually really like them, they've got the logo on top of them, and they can put buttons on them depending on the season. So yeah, again, the, the freestyle stands do look a little bit hashed up in comparison to other places. But the question is, do they have fan tags? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So yeah, do you want to get the bottle out and we'll fill up? So yeah, I, I do like these new machines. The touch screen. You see how ones are, but it's much bigger. This we is what me and Luke drink. Strawberry Fanta. And then you press the touch screen. Oh. Wow, it looks very strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like so coloured. First one of the day. Yeah. So, one strange thing that they've done in this area is they've got like, the covers around the tuck tuck terminal. They're not themed in, but it is running because you can see it through the cracks. Yeah, it's weird that they've got this across. It kind of like hides the ride. You can hear it, like I say, in the cracks, you can see it. I don't know, it's a bit odd because you would have thought people wouldn't want to see in there unless they're trying to make it like you know, lighting and all that in there. And Monkey Swing has seen its refurb over the closed season. Yeah, it's literally all got sheets around it. I suppose it is protecting it a little bit, but it's just it's an odd decision. It's hard to believe that once upon a time this was been around and uh, the the um, bumper cars used to be over where Cobra was. And I'm pretty sure that was over in a different location. I can't remember where the uh, no, no, it's really long. They, 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 well, they, they, they're really slow with dispatches. They haven't actually dispatched it since we've got into the land and we've been here a good five minutes now. But then we're, we're never the biggest fans of these Zamperla Jumbo Discos. They are real crowd pleasers. You are not a I'm not. I'll go on them. I don't dislike them. It's just the fact that I just think they're a bit boring. Right, so next up, it's going to be Tiger Rock. It's a great Mac Rides log flume, refurbished in 2018 from Dragon River. Uh, it's Tiger Rock. I do like, I do like what they've done with this. Like, you know, I, the only thing I don't like what they did with this was when they got rid of the dragon and just put that rock work over it. And I think even they regret that. Yeah, it shouldn't have too long. Queue. It's just queuing from this red bridge over down the station. So it's up next, the World of Coasters. Well, we've got new fencing all the way along here. There's the old Alton Towers around the world in 80 days theming. Yeah, new fencing all the way along here. Looks really good, actually. Nice and sturdy. Some of the old stuff was a bit dated. Yeah, the uh, queue winds through this, like, natural forest. It's almost like whether it be a uh, world of Jumanji one day when it all grows up, hopefully, where you can't see the, like, perimeter fences because of how overgrown it is. So there we go, after about a 10 minute queue on Tiger Rock. I do like it, it's a good log flume. As I said before, gives the, the, the right, spray on that yeah, this time. Gives the right level of moisture. It's just like, you know, a little bit on my sleeve and all that. Um, I to shoot, Luke. I know, but they missed, so maybe they know the channel. Uh, but yeah, we're kind of, we're mooching around towards Vampire and all that. It's coming up to around lunchtime, so we'll probably stop off that soon. Um, being being nice, we bought our own lunch, because we could like that. Uh, but I'm thinking Ruffalo next or something like that. Uh, it's just nice to come to this park and have a mooch around. It is so amazing to see what they've done over the closed season. Like I say, we are late to the party. We're being like a month and a half into the season. But yeah, around here they haven't done a lot of work. They have cleaned this out though, yes. Look at the little Buddha. Yeah, I know. That's been there for a few seasons. to the uh, Explorers Outpost, is it called? The Me main and Luke shop. Always look over here. Yeah, this is where the uh, My Moments uh, hide and seek lasted all of half a season. 
It's a shame, really, because it's a good premise. It was a good premise, but we only did it because we got offered it by my mums, didn't we? So we didn't actually have to buy them. And it was a bit steep, about £15 for the book. Yeah, so that was our first bit of um, sponsored work, wasn't it, Lou? Yeah, the shop around here hasn't really seen a lot of change. Like, there are a few new bits. They've got some more uh, clothes in to have a look at. Yeah, they sell all the Kill Toys elephants. How much is he? I think they're 45 uh, pounds for euros. 40? Oh dear. So we've got new retro merch here, including the World of Adventures um, sweatshirt, 45 pounds. I don't like yeah, I'm, I'm not not really keen on that. And is there anything on the back? No. So I think it's the same with this one. I do like the colour, but this one's 25 quid, and the original oh, one, yeah, yeah, I do like the colour. The original, which I think this is a better quality T-shirt, is only 20 quid, and this one, is this one I've got, has some writing on the back. So I do like that one. But I, you do have it on the sleeve. Yeah, I, d I don't know why that one's more expensive, like. I feel like this one should be like. That should be the 20 pound one. Pounds. And that one should be 25. But yeah, a few new bits. We've also got some Tiger Rock merch and a uh, new vampire sweatshirt here. The old original logo on it, I like that. So it's time for the annual trip to the uh, petting zoo where you can't pet the animals. Except for a few seasons now, they need to re theme this. Louise wants to see the rabbits. As always, there's someone in the rabbit's hutch, Lou. Remember the staff? What? So let's uh, nip in and see how the rabbits are doing. So here we are in the petting zoo. So you can actually pet the sheep and the uh, goats if they come out from their roped oh, area. But Louise wants to see the rabbits. I don't say, they, they don't want you close to it, Lou. Don't know where the rabbits are. They're currently being cleaned out, so I don't think they're actually in their hutch. Wow, big mess. Stinky big. Oh, it too. It's so chilled. It's literally right up against the bars and it's just wow, having a sleep. Look at his toes. Wow. I love your eyebrows. Right, so we've kind of done a loop of the park going past um, the world of Jumanji again. So like I say, every time I see it, it's just more detail every single time we look at it. Would be lovely to see it testing today, but I don't think they are going to be testing it. There's no signs of life around the station building. But I do like what they've done with the station. It did look a little bit bland. It's actually got a few more textures and layers on it. I'm loving the Mamba on Mamba Strike there. So we can't currently get any further along because of these barriers. They are very, like, laxly put in. I don't really understand why you can't walk on this bit. Maybe they recently tarmacked this. See some more details on the side of the building. Um, but, yeah, this side of Wildwood's entrance is closed. I get this because there's a lot of work going on. Yeah, soon, hopefully, we'll be going in this area. Kind of come around here, might be able to see through this netting. It's not really a lot to see. It looks like they're just doing the fencing. Oh, I think up next will be the rides in Wildwood, starting with the Gruffalo. It was actually down when we went in there a minute ago, didn't it, wasn't it? Yeah, it was back soon. Um, but yeah, it? Vampire's been quiet. I did hear it go a minute ago. Yeah, it'll be running, but it's on its two trains. Another great ride. Which I'd love to see Merlin actually pump some money into, maybe do a retrack, a bit like Nemesis. But obviously, they don't make the Arrow Suspended Coaster anymore, so whether they could work with Vacoma to get the Family Suspended Coaster put in. I think that would be quite cool. Favorite. It is a fan favourite. I'd love to see them reimagine it with the likes of the Coma. Obviously the Coma like family suspended and thrill um, suspended coasters do have the lap bar trains now. So up next is going to be the Gruffalo, formerly known as the Bubble Works, which actually in recent times I've really missed the Bubble Works. But Gruffalo, it was great when it opened up, but it's like the theming's not as good as the Bubble Works, and it's just, I don't know, I miss it. But yeah, not a bad queue on this, it was just down, so we're literally just queuing into the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
may just come, come up a breakdown or something. I mean, yeah, but it's advertised in 35 minutes. And one other thing you should just be able to notice, yeah, the Gruffalo figure that was started by the main stage has been moved over here, which kind of makes sense. So only a short wait there for the Gruffalo, which I, I'm starting to think they're not going to keep that much longer, just based on how they're looking after it. It's falling apart, isn't it? I mean, there's always certain things in a ride like that that I won't mean, work. I mean, a lot of the effects aren't working in there. Is like it working to its full potential? E even like the bit where the Gruffalo's holding the mass, that stopped spinning. Yeah. Half the movable, like, I call them animatronics very loosely aren't working. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's... it's like all I mean, we're really picking at it. Oh, yeah, yeah, but... I mean, the general public would notice some stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. It's kind of like... I think even general public will go on that and be like... That's what, what I mean. What the hell? Stuff missing, yeah. It's like... I, I feel if Merlin were to do it again now, it'd be better because they have got better with their re-themes. Um, because when it first opened, it was brilliant. Well, I wouldn't say brilliant, but it was good. The thing is, it replaced the bubble works, which that, it would never just be topped, in my no. opinion. Obviously, the original Professor Burt was my favourite. I grew up with it. Then the Imperial Level one came along, and towards the end of that one's life, it was bad. But I prefer the old Imperial Level <laughs> bubble works over the uh, Gruffalo. I would love to see them bring the bubble works back one day. Theme soundtrack everything yeah but if they if they want the gruffalo to be a good ride but it's always popular they need to pump the money into it because it's, it's falling apart in my opinion right so with the annoyance of the the facilities being closed down in uh, wildwood every time we come off it's like i'm drinking so much freestyle i'm like i need to lose so we've yeah. left and then we've had to come back so we're going on the vampire now it is a little bit annoying, isn't it? it? I don't is. know why they're closed the toilets and down there's here. No, there's like no, no other it's literally like the ones up on uh, by the plaza, they're like literally ramo to queue for them. But the ones by the entrance, they're empty, so we went over there. But yeah, next up is going to be the 1990 Aerodynamics swinging suspended coaster um, vampire. Absolute classic. As I said, I would like to see them one day do a bit of a retrack on this, but with the Coma's new family suspended model. As we head down into what I will always refer to as Transylvania or the Vampire, the original entrance here, which again I've always thought they should use it to be honest, even if it connects with the new queue. There it goes, it's just so beautifully designed this one to go in and out of the trees. I have tried to pick it up throughout the seasons, but in my opinion, it does need a lot more work. But yeah, I don't think it's off anywhere soon. Look at the size of it, it's a big coaster. 50 minute wait, let's have a look how long the queue is. So since it's 30th anniversary, it did have a renovation of the organ player and a new soundtrack or a remix soundtrack. I do like the new soundtrack, but you can never beat the old one in my opinion. It does thankfully still contain it. It's slightly different with the uh, box levels. about an hour's wait there we come off the vampire it was it, running super fast though yeah like the ride itself was running fast but the operations on that i've got to put it out there it's probably some of the worst in the country yeah. it is so slow it's and made i don't know if it's just because it's start of the season i don't you know, know it's just like the training. it's just like they should not be dispatching rides that are, you know uh, vehicles that slow like they're stacking in the brake run on two trains it's like they, that ride used to run with three trains and never stack uh, obviously after the smiler accident they reduced it down 
obviously partially an excuse to get rid of a train really and like reduce operations, saves them money, so on and so forth. But yeah, I was saying to Louise in the queue, I do think Vampire's Days are limited uh, in its current form. Whether they'll like, like I say, reimagine it, re it retrack re it. it but the thing is, like I said earlier, they don't actually make this model anymore. So it would be very interesting to see what they do, but it really had a rattle today, I yeah. thought. We were in row eight. A little bit of Like when, whenever you get to the speedy bits, like uh, the bottom of the slope, it really gets it gets a rattle on. It's definitely one of those where it, it, it will eventually need a bit of work, in my opinion. I'll probably say in the next five years, Vampire could be on the chopping block, if not the refurb block. I don't think they could ever get rid of it. It's quite an iconic. It is ride. iconic, but like, even if they were to just replace the track, it really does need something to do it. Uh, yeah. Oh, train's out the station. Where's the train, Lou? They put the train in the maintenance shed. They've actually removed the train off of the track for uh, Andrew Mayhem. So it was in the station earlier, which does go to show they must have a transfer track, Lou. I didn't think they would do, but oh well. Never know, it might be testing, but uh, we're gonna call it now. It's about four o'clock, park is actually open till six, but we're just done. Like, the ones in this being our local park, I can just come down here of an afternoon, get a few rides done. Um, and and I, it's like, still quite busy because the Easter Oh yeah, definitely. Like, I will definitely come out here before this area opens, probably a few days before it opens, just to get like a bit of a scoop on it, see if they're doing any soft openings. Um, but yeah, no signs of testing today other than the fact they moved the train out of the um, station into what I can only imagine is the maintenance shed because, oh wait, no, it's over there, Lou. Yeah. It's sitting out on the track. Oh, yeah. So, hold on, what, what are they doing? Are they doing something for the track, do you reckon, in the station? Well, there's a second LSM launch there, so it can move from there, but it's just odd that they've got it stopped there. I might, we might have to linger around for five minutes just to have a look, see if it's... Uh, going to be moving at all. As we sat here for about 15 minutes just hoping that they might reset this. It is actually sitting on an LSM launch because it does require an LSM to get back over the um, inversion, the zero G roll. But yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to be moving it anytime soon, which is a shame because I guarantee the second one will count the park. I'll be looking on social media in about half an hour time when we get home and it'll be moving. Yeah, it's a shame because I really wanted to see it moving, but I'm sure I will see it moving at some point. Right guys, so like I said, we're calling it a bit early here. It is quite busy on park at the moment and uh, you know, I'm glad that we haven't seen World of Jumanji running. Like I said, I will be back here before opening, uh, probably to film one more little construction update, uh, if not just cover it in motion. I really want to see it moving. But there's no one on site, the station is dead. I did have a quick look round um, and I don't know whether they just left it valid there, but it, like I said, it is on the LSM, so it can move back. It's just a real shame that we, we didn't get to see it moving because I really would love to see, yeah, see it going and you know, that being M raw. Anyway, we're heading back to the car now and we can actually show you what the parking arrangement is like today. It's very strange because of the uh, condition of the car park. Everyone's parked around the edge of the car park, though this one, they have started filling up. So yeah, it's been a, been a while since it's in the car park like this, where it's all queued up along here. It has limited the amount of cars that can fit in the uh, car park today, but we're right round right by the barriers, which is beneficial. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a bit shorter today, uh, but it's nice to get back to our local park. You know, we do come out here on impromptu chips where we don't vlog, we be in our local. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really excited to see the world of Jumanji more complete and uh, you can bet your bottom we're going to be down here when they open it uh, and shortly after they open it to film all our various videos but thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like hit the subscribe button for more theme park content posted weekly and we'll see you in the next vlog bye. till then bye